The midterm exam is going to focus on a subset of the material that we've had so far in the course, and I wanted to draw your attention to that. Uh, first of all, we're just starting to get into uh, graphics in the course in, in the module this week, and so graphics will not be on the midterm exam. And also, uh, I should just want to let you know that the first couple of weeks were introduction to MATLAB and, and the uh, you know, just kind of working around the MATLAB environment. Certainly you need to be familiar with that, uh, but you know, that's not going to be the focus uh, of the midterm. And then uh, finally, in terms of material that we don't need to focus on, uh, the week three material is more in lines with the things you, that you need to do uh, for designing uh, significant programs and being able to uh, import export data and uh, that kind of thing. Very useful material, but it's a bit hard to put that into a, a, a meaningfully put that into a test. So you don't need to worry too much about that either. Well, what does that leave us with? Of course, that means that the focus is going to be on weeks four, five, and six. And so uh, you definitely want to be comfortable with uh, creating and utilizing matrices and arrays and logical vectors. Uh, we had uh, a number of uh, homework uh, exercises in those areas and, and you should definitely be reviewing that. Uh, in week five we got into linear equations, we got into function m files, and then in week six uh, we got more into function m files, and then we also got into applications of for loops and while loops. And so this is where you should be focusing your attention as you prepare for the midterm exam. Uh, you should definitely be reviewing the exercises that you did. Uh, I'm a big believer in uh, testing on subjects for which you have already gotten practice uh, in your homework. And so hence uh, the best way to prepare uh, is to go over those homeworks and make sure that you truly understand uh, every detail in them. Now having said that, I also do not expect you to have every function in MATLAB memorized. And so if I think that there's a function that you may not necessarily know the usage of right off the top of your head, I'll provide you with the MATLAB help information so that you can utilize it. Uh, on the other hand, some basic constructs I do expect you to be able to handle. So for example, if you're going to construct a, a for loop or you're going to construct a while loop, I expect you to be able to do that. Uh, similarly, uh, you should be able to uh, do a logical vector operation uh, without having to, to look it up on, in the, the help information. And again, uh, with defining matrices and, and uh, arrays, you should be able to handle that as well. So the uh, exam uh, will be closed book, closed notes. As I said, if there are some uh, functions that I, I do not expect that you should have off the top of your head, then, uh, then I will provide the help information to you. And again, uh, you know, I, I test on what you've already had practice with, so you definitely want to study your homework. And the uh, exam length is uh, two hours, not because you necessarily need it, and most likely you will not. But I know that some folks uh, take a little longer to be able to put uh, even simple programs together than others, and this is not a speed test. I, I'm, I'm not... Uh, trying to uh, reward the fastest programmer. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, evaluate how well you understand how to use these uh, concepts within MATLAB. So the midterm is two hours in length, but again, uh, if you've uh, studied well, then you more than likely will not need anything close to that amount of time.